Hi, welcome to the channel. In this video, I am going to show you how you can fix smcdll.dbs errors in Windows 11, which are usually caused by a malware infection or a corrupted startup script. This error often appears at startup with a message like this. Since it is caused by malware infection, you first need to scan your PC in order to eliminate the affected file. Go to the Windows Security app. The Security app can either be found in the Action Center, or you can search for it from the Windows Start menu. When you launch Windows Security, click on the Virus and Threat Protection tab. Select the Scan Options. It is recommended to use the full scan option for deeper detection. Once the scan process is completed and there are any threats, just go ahead and get rid of them by clicking on the Start Actions button. Once it's done, restart your PC and check if the SMCDLL DBS errors will appear on your PC like this again. With the second method, you can check the Windows registry. Launch the Run app by pressing Windows R and then type in Regedit in the box. Then you press Enter. In the Windows registry, navigate to HKEY Current User. Expand it and click Software to expand as well. Click to expand Microsoft. Expand Windows. Go ahead and expand current version and then click on Run. Look for any entry referencing smcdll.bbs in the Run folder. Right-click and delete the entry if there is any unknown file there. As you can see, this file doesn't relate to the smcdll.bbs, therefore, you need to close the registry editor. The third way is to reset Windows Startup. Launch the Run app by pressing Windows R. Then type msconfig and then press enter. Go to the services tab, all the software that is running on this PC will be displayed here. Scroll through all the lists of these Microsoft services and check if there are any unknown services. If there is such Microsoft service, go ahead and disable it. And then restart your PC. The last, but not least, is to check and remove leftover traces. Launch the File Explorer by pressing Windows E. Click on the local drive, C. Navigate to the Windows folder and search for System32. Now, inside the Windows System32 folder, Check all the folders for any folder named smcdll.vbs. You can search the file name from the search box to make it easier. These files actually resemble the smcdll file in appearance. However, I won't touch at any of this because it's not the correct file. You can also check your Windows users. Click your username, go to App Data, and then click Roaming. In the roaming folder, scroll through all the lists and check if there are any suspicious files in the folder, if there is one, get rid of it. The last method is to remove smcdll.bbs from startup. Launch the Task Manager app from the Windows Start menu. On the Windows Task Manager, navigate to the Startup tab. Browse through the list of startup apps and look for any suspicious entries related to smcdll.vbs or unknown programs. If you come across something like this, right-click and select Disable. And then right-click on the smcdll app 
choose Open File Location, and then navigate to the saved file. Make sure you delete it from the PC. After deleting, make sure to empty the SMCDLL file from the recycle bin. Once done, restart your PC. Finally, the smcdll.bbs error message hasn't appeared again. When you also launch the task manager and browse through the list of startup apps, you notice that the smcdll file is absent. In addition, if you look in the startup program folder, the file is missing. That brings us to today's video. Let me know if you enjoyed it, and don't forget to like and subscribe for future updates.